Good day everyone. My name is Jahara Medin Man and today I will be demonstrating on how to properly connect your personal laptop to the LCD projector. But first, let us identify the equipment needed for this activity. First, your personal laptop, the VGA cord, the power cord, the clicker, and the LCD projector. Now let us identify the parts of the LCD projector. Here is the focus lens. You can adjust this from left to right depending on the clarity of the image projected. And here is the zoom lever. You can adjust it left to right depending on the size of the image projected. Here is the control panel. You can adjust the settings here. And this is also where the power button is located. At the back of this LCD projector, you will find the ports. Here is the USB port, the HDMI port, the VGA output port, and the VGA input ports, the video port, and the audio ports. And here is the power terminal. Now that we have already identified the parts of the LCD projector, we will move on on connecting the personal laptop to the LCD projector. First, let us plug in the power cord to the power terminal. And let us plug this to the AVR. Next, plug the VGA cord to the VGA port of your personal laptop. Do not forget to tighten the screws. Next, connect this to the VGA port of the LCD projector. Again, do not forget to tighten the screws. Now we can turn on the AVR. Next, turn on your personal laptop. And turn on the LCD projector. Now that you have turned on your personal laptop and the LCD projector, we can now proceed in opening our presentation. Now, we can use the clicker. At the back of the clicker, there is a USB that you must attach to your personal laptop for you to use the clicker. You can use the clicker to move the slides and to point the presentation. Now, I will be presenting my topic. Contact Center Services and C2. Contact Center Services and C2 have a nominal duration of 356 hours. This course is designed to enhance the knowledge, skills, and attitudes of trainee students on core competencies such as communicate effectively using English language, deliver quality customer service, perform computer operation and internet navigation, demonstrate understanding and knowledge for the American culture and geography in accordance with the industry standards. It also includes common competencies such as applied quality standards, 
perform computer operations, and it also includes basic competencies such as participate in workplace communication, work in a team environment, practice career professionalism, and practice occupational health and safety procedures. The title of my module is Delivering Quality Customer Service. This module covers the knowledge, skills, attitudes in delivering quality customer services by applying best practice call center operations, responding to and satisfying customer needs, and providing after sales support services. The summary of the learning outcomes upon completion of the module, the training students should be able to first, Demonstrate understanding of the BPO call center industry. Second, transmit, receive calls to or from customer, handle customer's complaints, and provide after sales support and document events. The first learning outcome is identify and apply best process call center operations. And under this learning outcomes, there are three contents. One is types of industry, types of products and services, and call center agents performance, performance matrix. The second learning outcome is transmit or receive calls to or from customers. And under this learning outcome, there are 10 contents. One is data gathering, two, different customer needs, three, e-services technology, four, using personal computer, five, professionalism in workplace, six, interaction with customers, seven, basic oral and written communication skills, eight, interpersonal skills, nine, cold process policy, ten, telephone etiquette. The third learning outcome is handle customer's complaints. Under this learning outcome, there are four contexts. One, protocols for handling difficult or irate customers. Two, process of handling customer inquiries. Three, language for dealing with customer complaints. Four, process of handling handing off customers to supervisors. The fourth learning outcome is provide after-sales support services. Under this learning outcome, it has five contents. One, problem-solving skills. Two, active listening or questioning skills. Three, instruction techniques. Four, documentation procedures. 5. Influencing and persu Persuasion Techniques And that would be the end of my presentation. Now, I will demonstrate on how to properly disconnect your personal laptop to the LCD projector. First, close all your applications to prolong the life of your personal laptop, you have to close all the application before turning off. And then turn off the LCD projector. Remember, do not immediately unplug the LCD projector and let it pull down by itself. Now, we can turn off the AVR. Then, unplug the power cord. Next, unplug the VGA cord. Do not forget to loosen the screws. Okay. 